Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a cool little effect for you today. I've got a little icon here, the question mark. When you hover anywhere over this section, it's going to drop down to reveal some hidden content there. So basically we've got an icon to hidden section on hover. Really easy to do. That's a great little effect if people are mousing around your site and this happens it's going to get their attention pretty quickly. There's no coding involved in this today where you're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down. I'll delete what I've got here and we'll start from scratch. OK, I'm going to add a new section, little blue button to add a section. I'm going to make mine a regular section. OK, in that section, for the first row, I'm going to put a single column. Inside that column, I'm going to put a, an icon. That's what, what we're going to use to actually be visible to trigger our little section here. Let's put perhaps a question mark. Awful lot of icons to choose from now with Divi. They've teamed up with Font Awesome. So you can do a search. Or you can scroll through or they've got a little breakout box here if you want to see more at one time and there's an awful lot I'm happy with that right there fantastic okay well I'm gonna add another row now and add a bit of content that we're gonna reveal when we hover over this so I'm gonna add a new row put in whatever you want to put in and you can put in as much or as little as you actually want on yours I'm gonna just throw in a call to action I won't bother editing it. Let's just duplicate it a couple of times. One, two, just to pop, populate this row. There's one. It doesn't matter which one you drag over, they're identical as you've duplicated them. Great. So we've actually got a section here, the blue tab. Inside we've got two rows, the green tabs. We want to hide this content basically below this line here. So I think I'm going to take the padding away from our section, or at least most of it, because I don't want this top section to be too broad. So let's go into the section, go over to design. Spacing wise, let's perhaps give it zero pixels on the top, because we've got a bit of padding on that row, I believe. We're going to leave that up there. And I'm going to hit the chain and have the same on the bottom here, just so you can see exactly what's going on. Let's give it a background color and you'll always find background under content tab. There we go. Let's try giving it like a blue. Yeah, everything stands out fine, so I'll just leave it like that. Obviously, you can size your icon and do what you want with your icon there. I'm gonna take it down just a little bit in size, I suppose. So let's save our row here. I'm gonna go into that icon, design, icon, Here's the icon size, 96 is the default. Let's take it down to almost half, let's say 50, just so there's a little question mark there, great. And of course, this is all up to you how you do the styling on yours. Now comes the fun part. Let's save our icon settings and we'll go back into the row, blue tab of the row. And we're gonna set two different heights for this row, one on hover and one on regular. So again, we'll go over to design and down to sizing. We want to roll down to height and common to all Divi modules. If you roll over the dark writing, once you're inside a module, you'll see some little icons appear. If there's a little arrow there, we can make a hover effect. So go over, click on the arrow. That's going to pop up two little tabs. Desktop when the mouse is not on it. And hover, obviously, when the mouse is on it. So when they're not hovering over it, I really only want to see the icon and this blue bar here. So I'm going to take my height all the way down until it's the size that I want it. Something like that. Let's go up a few. So we've got similar on top and bottom. I'm incrementing up and down with the little arrows there. That's about right for me. Obviously, adjust yours how you will. Great. 
But of course, we've still got all this content here, and I don't want to see that at all. But before we get rid of this content, let's actually set the hover state, and we want it to be back the size that we want it. So I'm going to click on the arrow. Make sure you're on the thing you want to affect. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to take it down until it's the height that I want, which is something like that. 489, let's round it up to 490. In fact, let's right, round it up to 500, why not? And again, this is entirely up to you. So when the page loads, all we're going to see is that much of it. And we want to get rid of these in a moment. I'll show you how. When we hover over it, it's going to show this much. So let's put it back to desktop state. Now let's get rid of these things, because we don't want to see these at all till we hover over it roll over to our advanced here we can go down to visibility and if you roll down you'll see horizontal and vertical overflow I'm going to switch both of these to hidden and you should see that content disappear there it is and we'll do the vertical too there we go now the time it takes to go from this height to full height when we put our mouse over it by default with Divi is 300 milliseconds that's pretty quick. I want mine a little slower for a bit of grace. And again, you'll always find the transition duration over in the advanced. Let's close up visibility. Just underneath, there's transitions. I want to go in my in here and put mine up to about three quarters of a second or 800 mils, something like that. Whatever works for you, close to a second, 0.8 of a second. You can slide, you can type in, you can increment up and down with the little arrows. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse on it. And the transition curve I like to use for my hover effects is ease in out. That way when you take the mouse back off it eases back out again. Ease will work as well. These are all subtly different. Some will work better in other situations than others, so do check them out. But for my hover effects I tend to use this one. Okay, well that's great. Let's save what we got here. I'm going to hit the little purple button at the bottom. We're going to save that and let's exit the visual builder and see what we've got. There's our little blue line. When I hover anywhere over it, it's going to drop down to reveal that content there. When I take my mouse back off of it, it's going to ease back up. And like I say, that's a nice little eye catching effect to have on your site, as well as saving a bit of real estate initially. That's a great way of revealing some content. And we've got plenty of videos about how to click to reveal sections and things like that. Now, if you wanted to have a title underneath your icon there, you can use a blurb module and then put the icon in and just have a little title underneath. But I think that little question mark is explanation enough. So there you go, guys. Very simple little video of how to reveal a section on Hover. I hope you've enjoyed this today, found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.